Hello, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading, Scorpio. So, this is your reading for the month of May, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. In this reading, we'll see what are the general messages, uh, what you need to know regarding career and finances. And when it comes to your love life, we'll see the energy dynamic between you and your ex, energy dynamic between you and the next person. Okay? So, let's get started. This is going to be a quick reading, by the way. Alright, so let's start now. Let's see what you need to know. Let's see what you need to know. Your energy two of pentacles. Life is going to be busy in the month of May. Okay, especially you'll find yourself focusing a lot when it comes to your career. Uh, there is a lot of dedication and devote, uh, devotion towards your career goals, career ambitions. Uh, I think so either recently you have started something new or you're planning to start something new in the month of May. And you will be uh, like working like crazy uh, towards this new project. Okay, two of pentacles is also telling me that... It is also telling me that you might, some last minute travels might happen in the month of May. Okay. So by the end of the day, you might find yourself slightly exhausted, but your career ambitions and your career goals are going to replenish your energy and you will find your yourself uh, fully charged up the next day after you wake up in the morning. Okay. So the life is hectic. You're running around a lot, but I also see that you're excited about lot of things that are going on in your life okay ten of pentacles when it comes to your career so yes uh your hard work is paying off scorpio your hard work is paying off i think so the month of may is a month where you're going to receive a lot of rewards and uh, so far the hard work that you have put in you you will see a lot of rewards for that a lot of rewards are coming towards you uh This is something that you're not expecting, actually. I mean, uh, it's an unexpected abundance that is coming towards you. So you probably, you're experiencing like $100,000, but like directly $1 million are coming towards you. Something of that sort is happening over here. So be ready and open for the blessings that are coming towards you, Scorpio. I also feel for people who are already in a connection, romantic connection with someone, it is likely that you will start something new with your romantic partner. You will start a work, uh, some sort of work or some sort of collaboration, some sort of project with your romantic partner. Okay. Or for others of you, I do see that you're going to meet someone special through work. Okay. Uh you might spend some money towards buying something big. I'm hearing a home, uh, a house, uh, a high-rise apartment. Uh, there is an expansion that is happening. So you probably, wherever you're living right now, say for example, it's a three-bedroom apartment. Okay, you're shifting to a bigger one where there will be like 10, 20 bedrooms and much bigger than whatever you have right now okay uh for some of you yes you're moving towards some costly apartments like a, like i said high-rise apartments okay so i do see over there as well i see that <clears throat> expansion of assets is also happening for you guys 10 of swords a lot of tens for you i think so you are going to see a lot of 11 11 so Ten of Swords is telling me that uh, you might experience some disappointment from someone in the month of May. Especially, uh, I'm hearing from someone within the, for some of you it's going to be family members. Okay, there is some sort of disappointment coming your way from your family members. Okay, uh, not a betrayal, but... And I don't think this is this is something that is new. This has been going on for quite a long time. Because Ten of Swords is telling me that you have had enough. Okay. This was the last straw. 
and I think so you're going to take some drastic action. I mean, you are in a phase of your life where you really want to focus on other productive things like your career, your job, your business. You want to focus on really productive things and anything that has the potential to hinder the progress of your career or your own personal progress, you're not going to allow that. And when it comes to 10 of souls, I believe like if at all there are any disappointments that you are experiencing from one specific person, this is not the first time you have experienced a disappointment from that person. Time and again in the past, you have experienced disappointments, betrayals maybe from that one specific person. But now in the month of May, I think so you have had enough. You're going to get rid of that person. It's, it's not going to be easy for you, but I do feel like you're getting rid of yourself from that person. Okay. Uh, let's talk more about your love life. We have the chariot. So chariot is telling me, Scorpio, that this is this is for your ex. Okay. Uh, the dynamic between you and your ex. Uh, so chariot is telling me that someone from the past is trying to come back uh, with positive intentions to... This person, their intention is to reignite a situation with you, but they also know that you're not happy with them. You in no way want this person back. So I think so, even though they want to reignite a situation, this person might start off with something casual, okay? Or their approach will be pretty casual, like some, some conversation, casual conversation, maybe a friendship. That's how they, this person will start off an encounter with you. Okay, their ultimate goal is certainly to reignite a situation, but this person is going to act very cautious. They are coming towards you with a lot of preparations, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. They are coming with lots and lots of preparations. Okay, so I also feel like their readiness and whatever... The way they are going to approach you, that is going to appeal you. That's what I'm feeling. Again, this is applicable for people who are okay with entertaining an ex. Okay. Others of you, you might be like, I don't don't even want my ex back. Okay. It's done and dusted. For the new person, I have six of cups, then justice and ten of wands. Lot of tens again. Okay. I think so. There are a lot of endings and a lot of beginnings that are happening for you, Scorpio. There are a lot of beginnings. Like month of May is looking very eventful month for you. Okay. One of the reasons there are so many endings that are happening is because you are about to meet your soulmate. There are very important cards that are indicating that you are meant to be with someone special. Like Six of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, The Justice. Okay. You're meant to be with someone special and that's why Universe is getting... Uh, uh, is is making you get rid of that uh, something or someone that is unwanted. Okay? So that's why Ten of Swords and Ten of Wands. Like clean up, clean up what is unnecessary. Let go off of what is unnecessary, what is not required. Hmm. So Six of Cups is telling me that, Six of Cups and Justice, this is telling me that the new person that is coming towards you, they're going to be protective. I mean, as much as they're going to be very caring and loving towards you, equally more than that, this person is also be going to, they are also going to be very protective about you. I mean, they have this background, okay? Like they were in love with a couple of, uh, I mean, People from the past, they were uh, in love with their previous partners, but and they also had a very good chemistry with their previous partners. But uh, you know, there was always an interference from a third person who was responsible for creating a rift between this person and their exes. Okay, so that is why that is one of the reasons this person is going to be extremely protective about you. This person is feeling a very special connection with you, which they have never felt with anyone else. 
okay so that is why this person is is more and more in love with you like crazy about you now that they have experienced something such a special bond with you they don't want to lose that and they don't want any third party anyone else to uh, you know they don't want to allow any third party any external energy to get in between both of you so that is one of the reason first of all i feel like this person will insist on keeping this relationship a bit of a secret for some time which i think so you will also agree and apart from that they are going to be very very productive and that is something you will like i think you will like about the fact that th you will like the fact that they are so so protective about you and about this connection that will kind of show their sincerity towards this connection that will kind of show their willingness to give importance to this connection prioritize this connection right and this is something that you will really like all right i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe and comment down below link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person take care have a great time and bye bye